What's the best joke you know? A man walks into a bar with a crocodile on a leash. And the bartender says, Whoa, you can't bring that in here! And the man says, It's okay, my crocodile is tame. Look! And he unzips his pants and proceeds to put his dick in the crocodile's mouth. The crocodile doesn't react. The man then says, Anyone else want to try? And a drunken man at the bar replies, I'll give it a go, but I don't think I can open my mouth that wide. So a mother and her son were driving down the road when a dildo flies into the windshield from the nearby garbage truck. Wow, that was a huge bug, the mother said, trying to keep her son innocent. To which the son said, how does a bug fly with a cock that big? A Texan was on a trip to Ireland and went into one of the pubs in a town there. He crashed through the door, strutted right up to the front and proclaimed, Now I hear y'all are pretty big drinkers here. I have a challenge for any person here. I have 500 American dollars for anyone who can down 10 pints of beer in 10 minutes or less. Everyone stared at the Texan for a moment, not saying a word. Nobody stepped forward to accept the Texan's offer. One man even got up and walked out of the bar. About 15 minutes later, a man walked up to the Texan and asked if the bet is still good. It was the man who had walked out of the pub when the challenge was first proposed. The Texan said sure, and 10 pints were lined up for the Irishman. The Texan started his timer, and the man started drinking. Everybody crowded behind him as he began. He downed each of them, one after another, and only eight minutes later, he was finished. The Texan, surprised but not angry, handed over the cash to the man. As he did, the Texan asked the Irishman where he went for those 15 minutes. The Irishman replied, Well, gee, I had to go to the pub down the street to see if I could do it first. Similar, an Irishman living in America went down to his local bar and ordered three beers. The bartender assumed some friends would be showing up, but the man simply sat there with his three beers, slowly drinking one after the other. The next week, the man showed up to the bar and again ordered three beers. The bartender was puzzled, but poured the beers and watched the man slowly drink them one after the other. When the man came in again the next week, the bartender couldn't hold back his curiosity anymore. Why do you order three beers at once? If you order them one at a time, they won't go flat. Well, I have two brothers, one in Australia and one back home in Ireland. Since we can't drink in person anymore, each week we go to our local pub and order three beers so it's like we're drinking together. The bartender smiled and nodded at the explanation, and poured the man his three beers. This continued for months, until one day the man came in, only this time he ordered two beers. The bartender's face fell, and as he poured the man his beers, he couldn't help asking, I'm so sorry, did one of your brothers die? The man looked shocked. What? Oh no, I just quit drinking. Well, an out-of-work actor gets a call from his agent one day. I got you a job, it's a one-liner. That's okay, replies the actor. I've been out of work for so long I'll take anything. What's the line? Hark, I hear the cannons roar, says the agent. I love it, says the actor. When's the audition? Wednesday, says the agent. Wednesday comes and the actor arrives at the audition. He marches on stage and shouts, Hark, I hear the cannons roar. Brilliant, says the director. You've got the job. The first show is at 9 o'clock Saturday night. The actor is so excited that he goes on a major bender. He wakes up 8.30 Saturday evening and runs to the theater, continually repeating his line. Hark! I hear the cannons roar! Hark! I hear the cannons roar! He arrives and is stopped by the bouncer. Who the heck are you? I'm Hark! I hear the cannons roar, says the actor. You're Hark! I hear the cannons roar, says the bouncer. You're late! Get up to make up right now! So, the actor runs up to make up. Who the heck are you? asks the makeup girl. I'm Hark! I hear the cannons roar, he says. You're late. Sit down. So she applies the makeup. Now quick, get down to the stage. It's almost time to say your line. So he dashes down to the stage. Who the heck are you? Asks the stage manager. I'm Hark. I hear the cannons roar, he replies. Oh, thank God. Just in time. Now get out there. The curtains are about to go up. So the actor runs onto the stage. The curtains rise and he sees that the house is full. Suddenly, there is an almighty bang behind him, and the bewildered actor shouts, What the fuck was that? A man dies, and his wife goes to the coroner's office to discuss the funeral arrangements. 
The man died while wearing a very nice blue suit. She tells the coroner, My husband always wanted to be buried in a nice black suit. Can you please dress him in a black suit? The coroner said, But he's already wearing a very nice blue suit. Are you sure? Yes, it was his final request, she says. She goes home, but receives a phone call just a few minutes later from the coroner. I think we found the suit. Would you like to come take a look at it? When she arrives, she sees his body is now wearing a very nice black suit. Oh, that's perfect! How did you find one so quickly? The coroner says, It was easy. We had another person die today who was wearing this great black suit, so all we had to do was swap their heads. The husband leans over and asks his wife, do you remember the first time we had sex together over 50 years ago? We went behind the village tavern where you leaned against the back fence and I made love to you. Yes, she says. I remember it well. Okay, he says. How about taking a stroll around there again and we can do it for old time's sake? Oh, Jim, you old devil, that sounds like a crazy but good idea. A police officer sitting in the next booth heard their conversation and, having a chuckle to himself, he thinks to himself, I've got to see these two old timers having sex against a fence. I'll just keep an eye on them so there's no trouble. So he follows them. The elderly couple walks haltingly along, leaning on each other for support aided by walking sticks. Finally they get to the back of the tavern and make their way to the fence. The old lady lifts her skirt and the old man drops his trousers. As she leans against the fence, the old man moves in. Then suddenly they erupt into the most furious sex that the policeman has ever seen. This goes on for about 10 minutes while both are making loud noises and moaning and screaming. Finally, they both collapse, panting on the ground. The policeman is amazed. He thinks he's learned something about life and old age that he didn't know. After about half an hour of lying on the ground recovering, the old couple struggle to their feet and put their clothes back on. The policeman is still watching and thinks to himself, this is truly amazing. I've got to ask them what their secret is. So, as the couple passes, he says to them, Excuse me, but that was something else. You must have had a fantastic sex life together. Is there some sort of secret to this? Shaking, the old man is barely able to reply. Fifty years ago, that wasn't an electric fence. A barber in my town got busted selling drugs. Surprising. I've been a customer of his for years. I didn't know he was a barber. An American tourist is walking through a small town in Ireland. It's raining, so he thought he'd stop in at a pub for a nice pint and a warm fire. He comes up to this pub, and there's an old Irish guy standing outside, getting absolutely soaked. What's worse is he has a fishing pole with the line dropped into a nearby puddle. The American tourist feels really bad for the old guy and tells him to come inside to the pub, and he'll buy him a drink. They're both inside taking the first swallow of their drinks by a roaring fire. The American, wanting to make small talk with the old guy, asks, So how many did you catch today? The old Irish guy, now with a twinkle in his eye, replies, You're the fourth one today. A man and a boy are walking through a dark forest. The boy says, I'm scared. The man says, You're scared? I have to walk back alone. Two guys are sitting on a porch. One guy turns to his friend and says, Hey, if there was a nuclear bomb heading our way, what would be the first, last thing you do? His friend replies, I'd screw anything that moved. What about you? What would you do? I'd sit really damn still. On their way to get married, a young Catholic couple is involved in a fatal car accident. The couple found themselves sitting outside the pearly gates waiting for St. Peter to process them into heaven. While waiting, they began to wonder, could they possibly get married in heaven? When St. Peter showed up, they asked him. St. Peter said, I don't know. This is the first time anyone has asked. Let me go find out. And he left. The couple sat and waited and waited. Two months passed and the couple were still waiting. While waiting, they began to wonder what would happen if it didn't work out. Could you get a divorce in heaven? After yet another month, St. Peter finally returned, looking somewhat bedraggled. Yes, he informed the couple. You can get married in heaven? Great, said the couple. But we were just wondering, what if things don't work out? Could we also get a divorce in heaven? St. Peter, red-faced with anger, slammed his clipboard onto the ground. What's wrong? asked the frightened couple. Oh, come on, St. Peter shouted. 
It took me three months to find a priest up here. Do you have any idea how long it'll take me to find a lawyer? Dear viewers, I hope this video has cheered you up a bit. See you later. Bye.